Did you know that testicular cancers are a very common cancer that affects the young males? Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tushar Aditya Narayan and I am a senior consultant in Euro-Oncology and Robotic Surgery at Max Smart Super Speciality Hospital, Saket. And today we will be discussing about testicular cancers. April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. So we will start off with testicular self-examination and how to detect testicular cancers at the earliest. Once a month, you need to feel both your testes. Take one of the testes in your hands and with the other hand, with the thumb and the index finger like this, feel the whole of the testes all around to feel if there is any lump or bump or swelling in the testes. If you find any swelling, you should visit your physician so that he also examines you and he would then get some blood tests done and a scan done to find out whether your testes has some lump in it or a tumor in it or not. These blood tests are beta HCG, LDH and alpha fetoprotein and the scan that is most commonly done is an ultrasound scan which will pick up a tumor in your testis. Once diagnosed with testicular tumor, we do not biopsy it. We straight away go for the surgery which is a high inguinal orchidectomy in which we make an incision high up in the inguinal region and remove the whole of the testis along with the spermatic cord. After the surgery, this is sent for an histopathological examination and the histopathology finally reveals whether it is a seminoma or a non-seminomatous germ cell tumor and this distinction is important because the treatment is different for both these tumors. For early stage tumors, high inguinal orchidectomy is sufficient and the patients do not need any further treatment, they just need to be on regular surveillance. But for a little more advanced tumors in which the tumors have gone outside the testis into the lymph nodes in the retroperitoneum, they might have to undergo chemotherapy, radiotherapy or surgery depending on whether it's a seminoma or a non-seminomatous germ cell tumor. The best part with testicular tumors are that they are 95% curable. So 95 out of 100 patients when diagnosed with testicular cancer can be completely cured of their cancer. So if you've been diagnosed with testicular cancers, reach out to your urologist today and get treated so that you are completely cured of this malignancy. I hope you found this information useful. And if you have any questions or queries, please put it in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.